also coming out August 24th is Beautifully Broken. Beautifully Broken is rated PG-13. It's an hour and 48 minutes long. It's based on a true story. Now, when I first saw this, I thought it was a Pure Flix movie, which is the guys who did uh, God's Not Dead 1, 2, and 3. But it turns out it's a big film factory. It's a production company. They made uh, I Am Not Ashamed. This movie is directed by Eric Welch, who's mostly done music videos up until this point. There wasn't very many movies or anything other than music videos and is that he's credited for. Uh, this movie has four writers, and also including the director, but outside of the director, there's Brad Allen, Chuck Howard, Mark E. McLean, Mark space E. McLean, and Martin Michael. Um, but none of them had any writing credits up to date. So this is starring Benjamin A. Anyago, who was in Tears of the Sun with Bruce Willis, and also in the God's Not Dead series, and that's, that's what I know him. Beautifully Broken follows the story of a Rwandan refugee coming to America who he needs to establish residency in America before he can bring his family over. So he had to leave them behind, and while he's in America, he gets to know another family, and together they kind of help each other out and like see the actual value of family and you know forgiving each other and you know coming back together beautifully broken is based on a true story but i think that the actual true story is probably way more compelling than the story they're going to tell in this movie i think they're going to shine everything up and make it seem a lot nicer and cleaner than life actually is I feel that this is going to have a similar tone to the God's Not Dead movies where it's very manipulative and heavy handed and is almost propaganda in the sense that they're trying to convince you of a point and that's the purpose of this movie and that point being Christianity is the best thing that you can do. And while I don't disagree with that statement, I, I do disagree with the methodology that they use to make it. You know, I don't think we need to try to convince people through media that Life is perfect if you're a Christian, that everything is great and things go smoothly. Now, I'm not saying that that's what this movie is doing because obviously I haven't seen it. It's only based on the trailers. But my experience with Christian media is it's never very accurate to life and things just are too perfect for the Christians, even if they're going through hard times. And it's just not, it's not accurate and it's frustrating that they put out this image that is not representative of what being a Christian is. So seeing this makes me nervous. Seeing that there's four writers who have never written anything before makes me really nervous that it's going to be full of cliches and, you know, ham-fisted plots and everything's going to be overly contrived. But at the same time, it is based on a true story, so they're somewhat confined to that, but you can still really mess things up. One of the better Christian movies that I've seen is Faith Like Potatoes. So if you're looking for one, I would recommend that over this, but I don't know. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you think. Have you seen uh, Beautifully Broken? Are you going to see it? Let me know in the comments.